huyo kijana anaitwa Brian kwa hivyo ningeomba umpeleke baka Kimathi Street kwa ofisi zao achukue documents aende achukue aende airport asaidia wasichana kusafiri on that conversation she was on another phone call using Brian's phone now I was using my phone to call the mom those ladies asked uh, uh, those ladies who she was speaking to say they want to speak to me and I was given her phone we, we exchanged sorry we exchanged the phones i gave her my phone and she gave me her phone that she was speaking to some ladies those ladies asked me okay take her to kimathi street the same thing the mom had said uh, upon confrontation after some minutes everything changed and the mom was like no i don't think she knows she's on her sober mind so i prefer let me sort out with those ladies so the mom called those ladies you work with and immediately she told me don't even take her to town just bring her to Siokimao no not Siokimao just bring her to Kamuru somewhere Roy Roy those sides and i asked her okay at the map it's telling me i'm supposed to take her to the river so the price to the river was around 640 and the price to go there obviously it would have changed because it's it's a kind of it's a more of a distance so i told the mom the price will be around 1000 all 1500 and she said the money is not a problem just bring her home so me my assignment was simple to make sure that i drive her home uh it took us it took us some confrontations there before she could get into the car because one she was not okay going to the mom's place because she felt she wants to go to a sister you told me she's clear yeah. your sister yeah. but now the mom told me huyo msichana vile yako usimusikize wewe nilete huyo msichana mpaka nyumbani mimi die nitakuli that's what your mom told me you got into the car mlango ya mbele you sat down and that's when you started acting weird you started saying hata wewe unanisomea kama nani unanisomea kama nani i started driving i started even the trip and you started all of a sudden calling me names even telling me igari simamisha hapa niruke i hadn't even started recording by then But when I noticed amefungua mlango na anataka kujirusha I noticed things will not be right and she also said some words there even before I started recording that nitapiga nduru hapa hii gari na wewe uchomewe hapa That's when I decided to hold my phone as if namulika kitu kwa gari and I started recording She didn't know I was recording She threatened me that tukifika kwetu nyumbani nitaambia mama yangu umenirep nitaambia mama yangu chochote kenye nitamwambia about you and you don't even know my dad you don't know my mom twende mimi nikaenda nikipashwa nikiitwa ile majina yote aliniita in that creep you can hear she abused my family she said that uh, she would it want to give birth to, to to uber drivers she had mind me made me feel like i'm so useless and whatever i'm doing as a work i'm so supposed to be doing that but uh, nilivumilia yote When we got at total petrol station in Roy nikachukua kona iko hapo kuna rough road she managed to open the door akakanyanga mlango na kiatu nikamwambia wacha hizo dramas kwa sababu already uko karibu na kwenu na mama yako ameniambia kwenu tu ni pale mbele so that nikufikishe in peace akaniambia hapana nishukishe hapa she started her dramas again wakati alifungua mlango hivyo akaruka nje kulikuwa na watchman tena wawili hapo they told me the mom now sasa tunaongea on phone akaniambia pe huyo watchman ako hapo simu niongee na wao i don't know what they talked the mom told me wachana na huyo msichana hapo kuja baka nyumbani mahali nitakuambilia so i left her there at total petrol station just at the rough road there i drove all the way to her mom's place alone without her In my car I had a phone. The phone she was using, Brian's phone was had been left in my car. So ameshuka but ana simu. So I went straight, mom directed me to their house. Uh, the mom came out with a amejifunga leso with a night dress of course it was late it was around 1 almost 2. So akatoka nje akaniambia pole, she was so apologetic and all that. Na akaniambia nikamwambia huku ni mbali in fact i even complained to her nikamwambia huku ni mbali hata sitapata return trip kwa hivyo hata kama unaweza ni tip kitu kidogo mimi siwezi mind she told me i'll give you 1000 but tomorrow i'll send you 500 shillings which i've never seen until today yes. so me i took the 1000 she sent me on my phone 
and uh, immediately as i was nikitoa gari because i thought anataka ni mbebe sasa tuende stage tuchukue huyu akatoka na gari yake so akaniambia acha mimi ni kuongoze mbele na mimi ni mfuate nyuma huyu alikuwa anaokota mawe zingine kubwa anajua gari ya mama yake she was aiming at my car mama yake had to stop akashuka gari akamkuta akamwambia alikuwa anakuita Diana alikuwa anakuita kuna jina nilisikia akikuita akamwambia ukijaribu ukijaribu kugonga hii gari tutakosana sasa hiyo anakatazwa hivyo bado anangengana mpaka ku sasa mama yake ameshuka gari anamshika hivi wanangengana bado ana try kurushia mawe juu akisema wewe utaniona umenileta huku sasa nini itanifanyikia so the mom just told me you just go because i've paid you tomorrow nitakutumia hiyo pesa ingine ya replace line and me i left the next morning around uh, 10 i called the mom nikamwambia hey, you had promised 500 da huku tuma akanambia ina shida in fact amenda police station ku report uh, ku report ndio apewe abstract and ya ka renew aka replace line and i said fine after an hour or something then akanipigia akaniambia eh hey, umeweka msichana online uh, na mimi sikuwa nataka hivyo nikamwambia mimi nimeiweka because sisi kama drivers we also have our rights na kuna kwa hiyo video ukiangalia si ati alikuwa ananiambia mambo mzuri cause either we ungeku, angekuwa ananiambia mambo ya kunibarikisha ama mambo inahusu amani inge angechukulia maybe in a heavy way lakini because of the words she was uttering akini tusi akini eat all those things i believe that is even why we are here today i have heard her saying that i bet her mimi hakuna mahali tulipigana na wewe so alama nilijiwe hakuna mahali mimi tulipigana na wewe because the mo, dile wakati uliingia kwa gari yangu hivi i locked kawaida ya hizi gari uki lock from the driver seat mlango ya mbele hu, and unaweza toa hako ka red button na bado ufungue na ifunguke ya nyuma ndio inakuwaga na hiyo chard lock yenye unaweza mlokia hapo but you are not a slave i i lock you inside my car wewe ni mtu mzima uko na 18 years umeingia kwa gari umeitisha ugari you are supposed to coordinate yourself kitu ya kwanza ukiingia gari kuwa na kata si salimia mtu hata umwambie tu haba na si must unaweza kuwa uko na stress zako but si uingie gari bado maneno zenye unatoa safe belt huko umefunga i try to tell you funga hata safe belt wapi you even hit my dashboard vibaya sana on that video hmm? aya sasa uh, we've had your side of the story we have a couple of inconsistencies with her story number one, the time you said it was around 10 pm on a sunday was it on a sunday yeah it was at night very late wewe umesema ulifika home saa 7 yeah alisema ilikuwa ulimchukua saa 4 so from here to ruai you can't start saa 4 mpaka saa 7 eh then you also said alikufikisha home vizuri ukamtank yeah mm-hmm. nasema uliruka nje ya gari kwa barabara you even tried to throw stones in the i have the mom's message of mpesa yeah. like it can tell the exact time she paid me yeah. so that we can see who is lying here tulifika home at around 147 From 10 time. to 1. Yeah. Ulikuwa mnaenda Kisumu. Sijui, <laughs> but mimi nakumbuka nikiwa 10:30 at Makadara. That is the time I told you nilikuwa Makadara at 10:30. Okay. She says by the time you came to pick her, mm-hmm. uh, you found the message. It's it's not very Just far. I can find Alice, it. Alice is this. There's a search bar. Search bar. Kapa kwa Mpesa. Oh, you can search. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Oh, that's the name of the Oh. So sweet. <laughs> Did nice. you stop being sarcastic, you know? <laughs> <laughs> But that's why we are here. We are here to make amends. <laughs> There you. Yeah. She sent me this money at at 1:15 a.m. You can confirm it. Yebo. Yeah, 1:15 on a Monday morning. Yeah. Okay. So she says the reason why she was being uh, abusive even when she DM'd me today, mm-hmm. earlier today, she told me that you assaulted her first. 
Yes. And according to the conversation we just had, she says, by the time you came on this other side of the car, you are aggressive, you roughed up. I'm going to say that you have to say that you have to say that you have ulikuwa na unamguara unamkunja nguo kuna max zingine kwa mkono ukampiga ukamgonga macho mpaka kwa video amesema umekaa muka edit kuna pata alikuwa anakuuliza kwa video mbona ulimgonga macho e, ukamwambia ni mamako amekwambia umpeleke nyumbani so i don't know did you get physical with you her? see kitu ya kwanza you can even check my nails eh? I don't keep nails. Okay, ziangalia sijakata leo nikikuja, which means if tutaongelea story ya juzi hata zilikuwa less ndogo kuliko vile zinatoshana. So I have done taxi business for the last seven years. And before I even got to taxi, I have done boda bodas. I have been in the service for so long. Mimi nimeji grow from the grassroots, nikiji grow. And I have never had a situation where inafika mahali nipigane na client wangu. That would probably mean I'm unprofessional. I wish the Maasai was here. You saying? I wish the Maasai was here. Now let me ask you, Mr. Obina, a question. Huh? Yeah. This is a lady who has requested me I'm driving a cab, right? Amesimamua na wanaume wawiri wa Maasai, wako baka na marungu. Mimi sijai muona. Hii ni gari imefika ni mbebe. Wamemleta baka kwa gari. How biased can I be nishuke gari nikute mtu amerindwa na wanaume wawili wa Masai wenye sijui kama ni club amefunga wamemsindikisha cuz I don't even know kama ni kazi ametoka sasa wanamsindikisha nishuke tu gari ni log sasa nikuje sasa nianze kukua physical ati sasa namuingiza gari kwa nguvu I have a question for you before you continue uh -huh. When you met me first what did you ask for me 200 shillings when I, met, when, when I met you first, me when I met you first and I studied your, how you were stubborn and you were refusing to give me your number, I told you Igari metumia mafuta na nime drive almost four kilometers kufika mahali uko. Mm -hmm. I told you, you be fair enough to me, unipea kakama ni 200, I compensate my car that fuel because umenitoa mbali mm -hmm. na mimi I'll go my way. Okay. But you say that tutafanya hivyo. The soldier kwaza ndi ari nini. Akasema, Usifanye hivyo. Wacha huyu msichana akupe namba ya mama yake kwa sababu ukimwacha hupu hapa huyu hata anaweza repeat vile anaka. That is what he said. Nikamwambia ni sawa. Let me talk with the parent. And, and then when... before you talked to my mom, you mm -hmm. told my ma nimevuta bangi mingi sana. Yeah, to me you look like someone who is under influence of something I couldn't explain. Yeah, you look una come to amevuta bangi. Ushaivuta bangi? Yes, yes, yes. Kitambo kabra ni okoke. Eh, kabra ni okoke. Okay, sasa mimi si bangi. Sasa mimi siko nimevuta bangi sababu kitu nilikuwa nimefanya nilikuwa tu nimekunywa pombe. You see, no, kaniambia ni komlevi sana and the only question I was asking you all along ni pombe umeninunulia. But you see my sister eh anytime you request a cab I, uh, I called you that my sister and you are very bitter with me eh? yeah. normally call people that cuz me ni mtu shosho na napenda kuongea na watu. When you request a cab si kazi yangu kujua nini umetumia ama nini umekunywa. But I expect you to coordinate yourself in a way first in gari umeita Uyu ni mtu hujai muona mahari. The last thing you can do is to become abusive. Okay. You don't abuse my family because when you are requesting au kuonesha mapicha zao hapo, you only saw me. You cannot start accusing my children because you don't know them. True. You cannot start accusing my mother saying sijamjengea nyumba sijui nini. You don't know my life but you kuje within few minutes you already judging me asking me umejengea mamako nyumba? Yenye wewe unaishi ni wewe umemjengea yako ya mama yako? <laughs> si yake. Ni yake wewe ndio Si nimekujibu ni yake. Ah, oh, kwa hivyo hata ujui alijenga aje. Si najua venye ni. Wewe umekuwa tu hapo na ukifika miaka ingine si utamuondokea uende kwako. So I have another question for you. Mm -hmm. Ulikuwa nipeleke police station. Uliniambia ukiendelea kunisumbua utanipeleka police station. So many parts of that video I've told you kuna mawembili police station tuko shooters there's a police station above here. Take me there. My mom can come pick me there. But you your most full need was unifikishe kwetu. You see, there is one really thing. Wait, wait, mm -hmm. wait. If you really wanted to take me to that police station, mm. you would have. Why? Right now you've said, I insulted you kiasi ujai tukano ivo. Sindio? I was drunk, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you really felt that bad, iyo mbaya sana, you had my mom's number on your phone. Unge mpigie umuambie msichana, ame sana, 
na nimefanya nini nimempeleka police station ukishuka hapo penye unasema nilikuwa nakurushia mawe you told my ma we are going to be summoned at the police station what did she tell you ni sawa weenda tutaongea kesho si ni kweli na nikaingia kwa gari ya mamangu na tukatoka na tukaenda si ndio but to me you had told me simu nitaipata wapi nitaipata police station i didn't even know you had given my mom the phone nilikuja kwa mka asubuhi ananipatia simu ananiambia shika simu ya wenyewe niko like si tulikuwa tunaiendea police station that video when you were recording me you told me utanipeleka police station my question to you is why didn't you take me to that police station that's a very valid question though it's a very valid question and thank you for that eh? you see you gave me instructions to divert the destination to a police station this is your mother who have spoken to on the phone and she has told me ukifikisha huo msichana hapa nyumbani dio nitakuri i am in business and when you are in business you want to make profit you don't want to make losses when she is in my car she is my client and after i do the trip she will pay me she will give me money the money will cater for my expenses my whatever already i have dri- driven you almost 10 kilometers i have consumed fuel even coming for you now you are telling me to drive you to a police station a police station le- relax a police station that you are telling me to take you there you are even telling me that there is a nanti of viewers who acts there I'll meet her there so clearly do i go to a police station where i have not been told to go or do i go to your mother who has told me come and i'll give you your money I have a am question. i working for can cases or i'm working for money okay can i answer you that question mm-hmm. yeah before even we reached to mawembili police station there's so many police stations on that road yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. shooters opposite opposite there's an ap opposite there's a police station before to fikia tarwai nimekwambia hapa ni shooters divert on this side kuna ap divert on this other side kuna police station na nikakwambia hii ni bomb na sina miwani na nezairuka let me ask you, you remember that part? let me ask wait, you wait, wait, a wait. question i remember all that police uh-huh. station mm-hmm. and calling my mom kumwambia mrembo wako nimemfikisha police station mkujie police station fulani hiyo haingemlemea do you understand that that part haingemlemea you your parties umeodhoraziwa kunipeleka nyumbani you've said right here i am not a kid i am 18 and above yeah so kunipeleka police station wako na haki ya kunishika uko na haki ya pesa yako na haungetoka hapo bila pesa yako same way did you reach me home no but tulilipwa pesa yako hiyo distance yenye nilitembea ingekuwa tu bado distance yenye mamangu angetoka kwa nyumba na akuje police station na akupate ama na kutumie pesa yako na akulipe you understand me to me to all that video nilikuwa nakwambia nishukishe sitaki kuenda na wewe nishukishe nishukishe dear, let me ask you a question so according to him you got in the in the cab sat in front according to you he it's dragged you line. in the cab yeah and that's he what he you did. up and he beat you up yeah so you, believe, so you believe what you're saying is true yes i believe what i'm saying is true because hata nakumbuka the parts where i'm telling him nishukisha nakumbuka hata nikifungua the mlango itself akiniambia nena nafungua nga mlango gari kienda namwambia okay. mimi nitaifungua nishukisha simama hapa nitashuka when you go to ruai Yes. You're about to get to your place you're like 200 meters or so to your house. Mm-hmm. Why did you jump out of the car? To look at Shafika home. <laughs> I didn't jump out of the car. Nilifungua mlango. Obina nilifungua mlango na nikaishikilia na him go hivi. Nilifungua mlango na nikamwambia hii mlango itaenda basi kama imefunguka. So you didn't jump out of the car. I didn't. Alisimamisha gari nikashuka. Nikashuka, nikashuka nikakimbilia Masai. Kukimbilia Masai Masai akaniambia shida ni gani? There is a woman. There is a part you've left. There is a woman who came. There is a lady who came. Hapo tu stage kwetu. There is a lady alitoka akaniuliza ni nini mbaya? Nikamwambia huyu mtu wa uba ananileta na mimi sitaki anilete. Anashinda akinibembeleza anibebe. Sitaki anibebe tena. And that lady akamwambia you know our uba cars they have videos, they have cameras. All along mtu akiangalia nimechukuliwa kamera na simu sijachukuliwa na kamera kamera ya kawaida like this one it's not a same camera ama that camera that is always in the car it's not so but why did you jump out when you're about to get home i didn't jump you've out you've come all the way from makadara all the way to ruai yes. you are 200 meters from your house 
why did you jump out but you didn't jump out from makadara let me tell you one thing niki ukiongelea hiyo video vizuri nimefungua mlango several times yeah we not can once, clearly see not that twice, with a lot of uh, insults and there's a time everything. my sister called my sister called him and i told my sister mwambie nishukishe hapa penye niko nitachukua uba nyingine niende mtumie pesa yake that's what i said mtumie pesa yake anishukishe hapa penye tumefika niende okay. home quick question yes did he rape you no why were you saying in the video that you're going to make noise and say that he raped you because ananibeba unwillingly you do know that we have a lot of innocent men and women who are in prison because they've been convict convicted because there's someone who put false charges on them yes so you knowing that well 25 year old you work in a business that you send people abroad to do business and everything you go to school and you work part time but you decided in your head you said i'm going to accuse you of something you've not done so you can face the repercussions just because you are angry because he carried you and you didn't want to go home okay to my part telling him that he had raped me i thought when i was telling him that ataniambia sasa mali tumefika na wewe nimechoka mwacha nikuache so I could drop in the middle of nowhere yes. in the state I really that you wanted were in that. yeah i really wanted that because so until now you're still not grateful that he got you home i didn't say that obena first even before he sat here down i said thank you derek mbogwa for making me reach home safe that's what i said before you told me derek mbogwa is here right those were my last words before he sat down okay there's a show I do on Obina TV as well. It's called Taxi Problems. The reason why I did it was during the time when I started it, we had a taxi ailing up. I'll not mention the name. It had a lot of cases. You will always see our sisters Nilienda who was roughed up, nini nini. Then in my line of business, I meet a lot of taxi drivers as well and I've influenced for a couple of them. So when you meet them they're like, "Ah, sasa nyinyi tunakuwa accused wrongly." And also being a man, I know how the society is set up against men. Uh, against men. Most of the time when a lady comes out and accuses a man society stops the man is guilty on arrival the woman is innocent until proven guilty and most of the time they're never proven guilty because the man is all definitely wrong so i started this show so we can have safe commuting communities i had a couple of episodes i did with a lot of taxi drivers mm -hmm. and taxi passengers and i've seen the situation this driver will say huyu msichana alifanya hivi akanipiga kofi akaniwekelea nikatoka watu wakuja wanataka kunichoma and everything the lady say huyu tulifika kadha kunigrow pa kadha kufanya everything so with all that we've seen the way the society is set up nowhere in this whole situation that was happening huku kachini ukaona you're doing something wrong by all the insults you are doing you're trying to jump out of the car and the aftermath that we are, why we are here you didn't see there was something wrong with all that you just like i want out and this is the best way okay at that point what i really wanted was to get off his car as i was doing all those things i was doing i really wanted to get off that car but okay. afterwards after i saw that video i didn't even know he's the one who posted because even when i was calling him later i asked him what's your name and he told me you don't even know my name and yesterday you had Brian's phone i told him i didn't even check the driver's name so what's your name he refused to tell me his name what he just told me is you come with your ma and meet me at kahawa sukari kahawa sukari he really wanted me to go and i don't know what he wanted me to go there and do but but partly he had told my mom i should just call him and say i am sorry of which i did i called him several times and he didn't pick my calls so he later called me back and i told him hey hi hi i am the girl you've posted facebook the girl you carried yesterday akaniambia oh yeah so bado uko na kiburi nikamwambia pana sina kiburi nimekupigia nikwambie pole didn't i tell you that akaniambia yeah, je he told me he doesn't want it through phone he wants to meet me personally with my ma and someone else we go to kahawa sukari first he asked me where i'm convenient going i said 
we could oh. meet anywhere. And then he told me, you come to Kawasukari. I told him, Kawasukari, as, far, as where I am now, it's far. Can't we meet at town? And then he told me, no. You come, when you reach at Kawasukari, Shell, yeah, Shell called me. And then I called my ma. I told her, ma, the driver amesema, ataki pole asimu. Amesema, niende ni kampate wapi, kahawasukari, na tuende na wewe, na tuende na mtu mingine. My ma told me, lakini mimi hajaniambia hivo. Nikamambia, apana, mimi hivo ndo, by the way, I have that recording on my phone. Nikamambia, by the way, hajaniambia hivo. Ameniambia, nataka niende ni meet kahawa, kahawasukari. I should make a video apologizing to him and everything. Or else, he'll take me to the, to the security. And he gave me an hour to do that. Okay. Uh, why were you calling her to Kawasukari? Uh, one, after I posted the video, the mom called me back. Akaniambia siku anataka ifike hapo. Wacha hata nimuambia kupigie, apologize. Nikamuambia, if it will be sincere, mimi ni mtu. I'll forgive her. But because already the, the, the damage is done, I would love to meet you, your daughter, na mkuja na mtu mwingine. Either an elderly person or your sister. Ambayo atakuja ni apologize nione she is sincere. Na anajirudia kenyarifanya ni makosa. And I told them, kwa hiyo video kimusikiza ananitusia mama yangu, ananitusia watoto wangu, ananitusia familia. People she doesn't even know. Okay. When she was insulting you and you are recording it and she was trying all these things, what was going through your head? You see, it, in our business, because at the moment, you see, her drama started way back Jogorod. I didn't start even recording that video from Jogorod. There's a point that Lifungua Dirisha akatoa kichwa inje. Akanza kuscream na nguvu sana kisema, rapist, rapist. The good thing, let me speak my truth. This is my truth. You will speak your truth. When you are talking, he was very silent. So let him finish and then you'll so get chance to... She started okay. shouting, rapist, rapist. Nitoeni kwa igari. Uyu ni muizi. Uyu ni muizi. That's when something clicked in my mind and told me, record this girl. By the time I was about to start recording, hata tukuka sana, akafungua gari mulango tena. And I told her, igari venye unafungua mulango hivo, utaigongesha. That's why she started saying, igari sasa ni nini, unajisikia na wini tuktu kama ni nini, hii ni mkebe, hii hata ni gari ama ni nini. And I, was, I, I told her, no, hii ndiyo gari yanyo umerequesti kukujie. She's saying here that I did very wrong not taking her to a police station. When you requested and the orders that I was given by your parents were simple, mulete kwangu nyumbani, and I was on conversation with the mom throughout Akini Andiria Njia, because she refused even to, to show me the way to their place. So I had to keep on calling the mom. Throughout we were on the conversation with the mom on phone. And that's when I slowed down when I got there. Because I asked her, Suni oneshe tuku wenu natuko karibu. She told me, mpigie huyo mama, akuambilie. I continued talking to the mama Akini Ambilia. Baka hiyo wakati unaruka kwa gari. So you insist she jumped out of the car ya nasema Wakati tulifika hapo total Mimi ata ulize mama ake Mimi ya tuku siku mfikisha kwa mulango Ma, Mimi nilifika kwa mulango ya kina huyu nikiwa peke yangu And I have a video No ya nasema Baka ulisimama akashuka Ya nasema ulisimama Gari likuwa imesimama nikichukua direction Cause mahadi nilikuwa naambiliwa siku wanashika So I had to stop to be sure Kwenye I'm headed ni the right place she, she found that as an opportunity. So okay. Aka fungua gari, aka kanyanga hivi, na aka shuka. So mi I alighted, sa hiyo ni konfona mama ake, na muambia mustiana hame shuka gari. Nifanyi aje. Aka niambia hapo kuna mtu mwingine ya yote hapo. Kukakuwa there is a lady anaishi tu hapo juu ni liona hata kifungua mulango. Aka kuja, aka skiza, skiza kidogo, aka enda. Aka niuliza hakuna mtu mwingine, nikamwambia kuna soldiers wako tu hapa kando, nikawapea simu. Aonde waka niambilia pahari unambiliwe enda hivi, 200 meters, turn left. Utamukuta hapo, nikamuacha. Mamagi ya katua gari, sasa ndi ya kuja mchukue. Na mimi na mfuata nyuma. Ulikuja kwa umeshika mango mongo mawe zinatosha na sijui nini. Did you, Ukirusha. Did you do that? Hmm? Ukuna nini na mawe? Kasi kumbuke ni kichukua mawe. Au kumbuki hiyo part. But the rest unakumbuka. <laughs> but kwa mawe is where you draw the line. Wow. <laughs> it's not where you draw the line. It's where you forget. Him. No? Hmm. Ata kwa, you see... 